Hi my YouTube friends, welcome back to our channel Kukadi. In this episode, let's see how to make a semolina cake. Let's jump into the preparation now. I have 4 eggs here and I am going to add a pinch of salt. Then I am going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Next let's add 100 grams of sugar. Now let's beat the eggs until it becomes voluminous and fluffy. In case if you don't have an electrical head beater, you can always go ahead with the whisk. It has been around 10 minutes now. The egg has become voluminous and fluffy. Now let's keep this aside and prepare the dry ingredients. I have 300 grams of semolina here and I am going to add 1 packet of baking powder that is around 8 grams of baking powder. Next I am going to add around 80 grams of all purpose flour or maida however you call it. Now this all purpose flour helps a cake to stick together, it acts as a binding agent. Now let's mix everything together with the help of a spoon so that the baking powder is well distributed. Now let's add the dry mixture to the egg which we have beaten before. Next I am going to add 100 ml of oil. Here I have added sunflower oil. You can add any oil you have in hand, but see to that it doesn't have any strong flavors to it. So now let's mix everything again together with the help of an egg beater so that the cake batter doesn't have any lumps. It has been around 5 minutes now. The cake batter is really thick. So let's loosen it up a little bit by adding 60 ml of milk. So once again I am going to use the egg beater to distribute the milk evenly. The cake batter is at perfect consistency and ready to be baked now. Let's go to the next step now. I have a round baking pan here and I am lining it up with a baking paper. This step helps us to remove the cake from the baking pan in the final step. So now let's transfer the cake batter to the baking pan. So after transferring the cake batter in the cake pan, I am going to bake it at 200 degrees Celsius for around 35 to 40 minutes. Depending on the oven you are using, the baking time may vary for 5 to 10 minutes. So keep an eye on the cake after half an hour I would say. So I have folded the extra baking paper on the sides of the rim and I am going to bake this. So in the meantime let's make a sugar syrup. I have a small saucepan here and I am adding 1 cup of sugar. Then let's add around one and a half tumbler of water. To be precise it is 350 ml of water. Let's stir in the sugar for few minutes until the sugar is completely dissolved and it comes to a boiling point. As it is starting to boil, I am adding half a lemon juice. This step helps the sugar syrup to not get crystallized. So now let's switch up the flame and bring down this to the room temperature. Our cake has come out of the oven just now. So now I am going to add the cool down sugar syrup. I am going to add one ladder full of sugar syrup at a time so that it is easy for our cake to absorb the moisture. Adding the sugar syrup to the cake makes the cake moist and fluffier. I am going to add all the sugar syrup to the cake but as you can see 
I'm going to add only one ladle full at a time. So now I have added all the sugar syrup to the cake. It seems to be a lot of sugar syrup, isn't it? But wait for 10 minutes and then you will be surprised to see all the sugar syrup has been absorbed by the cake like this. So now with the help of a long knife, I am going to detach the cake from the sides of the cake pan. Personally, to allow the cake to cool down completely and refrigerate it overnight before serving the cake. Isn't this cake really easy to make? I have done this recipe quite a few times and it has never failed. So I hope you enjoy this cake as much as we all did. In case of you are recreating any of our recipes, then please don't forget to hashtag cookery in Facebook and Instagram. I would love to see that. So see you soon in the next video then. Bye bye.